Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess. And if you wanna stick around, you can hit that subscribe button right down here in the corner or check me out on Instagram. And let's just go ahead and get into the video. I'm just hanging out with the kids right now and pretty soon I'm gonna be going to the gym. So we're just gonna kind of take you along with me. Um, I can't remember what the workout is today, but I just had a protein bar and I will be getting ready to drink an energy drink. Um, these are the Alani New energy drinks. Anyway, very good. Um, I don't know, I like these better than like uh, White Monster or Red Bull. They are so, so good. And like, I really do notice a difference when I have one um, compared to when I don't. I know I could probably just take pre-workout, but regardless, I look like a scrub. It's freezing outside, so I have these big sweatpants on, but I've got my, these are Lululemon um, Align. I think they're four inch. They're like to here. I know um, they actually, let me just see if I can. This is how they naturally sit on me, like right here. I could like pull them down further if I wanted to, right there. But, um, you know, I have large thighs, so they tend to like come up like this, and I'm fine with that. But I've got a sports bra on. This is Russell's shirt, it's a 2XL. I tend lately to wear his shirts just because they're comfy, and when I go to the gym, they like just feel nice and loose and flowy, and I can take them off. Um, and like this one, I can just wrap around my waist or I can just take it off and throw it wherever. But um, I'm just gonna hang out with the kids for a little bit, have this energy drink, and then I'll be headed to the gym. So I guess I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to go to leave for the gym. And this is my gym bag. It's Reebok. I got it at Walmart for about $7. Oh, my shoes stink. Oh, they smell so bad. Anyway, I use Nike Metcons to work out in or Good old Converse, you can see these have been well used. <laughs> um, I prefer I prefer my Metcons, especially if we run. Um, at our gym, there's like the path that we run is gravel and these don't really bother me when I run the gravel. I love lifting and working out in my Converse, but when I run on the gravel, they're just super thin um, and so it kind of hurts. These are obviously very old. <laughs> Can't tell, they, if you could smell these, you would click out of these this video right now, I'm sure, because they are rank. But anyway, yeah, this was just from Walmart. It's kind of like a fake leather type of bag. Um, Russell has one too, but his is like just a normal gym bag material. Anyway, I'm just gonna tell you what I have in here. So over here, I've got my mask. Um, we have like section, you know, areas in our gym where we can like be within or uh, outside of a fit, six foot distance of other people. So um, I don't have to wear the mask, but I've got tampons, of course. I have a headband that I never use that I really probably should use. It's just, a, this is from junk bands, but it's from like a run that I did. Um, so it's a junk bands headband. I don't really use it ever, I should. And I have wrist wraps that um, a sweet friend made for me. Um, well, um, she didn't necessarily make them for me, but she made them and then I gave her some mason jars and she gave me these. So they're cute. It's just like a little, I think it's called paisley design. Um, but wrist wraps, I don't use, rip, oh my, these are all jacked up. I need to like roll them up. I don't use wrist wraps very much, but I have, ever since I've gotten those, I like them, um, for like, if I'm doing handstand push-ups or something like that. And then inside of here, I've got an extra pair of clothes for when I go straight from school to the gym. And I have some random things, a gym towel, Kleenex, a supplement thing that doesn't have any supplement in it. I have my clips. Now I have my own clips. We have clips at the gym too, but these are lock jaw clips. And so they don't, they're actually really hard to like clip onto the bar, um, but they don't slide like a lot of clips do. So I really like them for that. And another headband. What's wrong? Oh, the dog just ate one of Mars deals. Up. Oh, oh, I have dirty pants in here. Dang it! Should have done those. These need to get cleaned. Um, and then these are actually something I haven't used yet, but these are like bands, like glute bands. So I got a medium one, and it has a cute print. This is from Buff Bunny. I just I had a gift card. I like I want a gift card for Buff Bunny and. Um, these are something I've been wanting to get anyway, so that's why I got them. But 
it's just got a cute print on it and then i got a plain black one so this is the heavy the black one is the heavy and then the medium one is the or the, this one is the medium um and i just kind of plan to use these to like get my uh, glutes like activated before i do like squats and stuff like that but i don't know if i'll use them today i am squatting today um so we'll see anyway that's just kind of what i have in here i thought i'd share it while i was waiting and I'm getting ready to actually, I know I told you I would see you at the gym, but I'm actually going to have an English muffin. This is just a blueberry English muffin. I'm literally just eating it like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and drink this now. And I'll probably be leaving here in about 20 minutes. So I'll for real see you when I get there. Okay, so um, I probably did a voiceover or something for what I did. Um, and like, honestly, I don't know what, like you might not have been able to see me in all the clips, but it's fine. Um, I did some squatting because just, I feel like I need to work on my squat. I'm not nearly as strong in my, like with heavy squat, I'm not nearly as strong as I feel like I have been in the past. And I think it just has a lot to do with my core and just like building back up you know, my core and staying tight throughout my squat. Anyway, um, and then we did our like program schedule or a programmed workout. So it was, um, the hang squat snatch or the hang squat clean in the hang power snatch. And that was deceivingly hard. Like, Ooh, I mean, I did all the reps and then I, did, I don't know. It said 150 reps was the total, but I did 160 because we started on at zero and would have ended at 14, like 14 plus minutes. But then that would have, we would have done the squat cleans to start and the squat cleans to end. And I just didn't like that. So I went ahead and did an extra round. It's gonna get a little bumpy. Just hold on tight. Boom, 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 boom. That's not as bumpy as I thought. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, that workout freaking sucked. It was really my grip. And I was hook gripping most of the time. Um, and the clips you saw were like my last two rounds. So I probably look like dog poopy. Um, but my thumbs felt like they were going to fall off because I was hook gripping. Uh, and then afterward, we did an eight minute EMOM and I just did three reps each time of a full squat clean. And uh, towards the end, I did like drop, I dropped the weight and just picked it up and tried to go fast because I would, whenever I was coming down with the weight, um, it was pulling my hamstring on my right side a little bit. And so I'd rather just drop the weight and, and lift it from, from there rather than control it down. Uh, and my hamstring felt fine on the way up. It was the way down that it was being weird. After that, then I did a few pull-up things. So I am not, I mean, I can do butterfly pull-ups a little bit and I can do kipping pull-ups a bit, 
but I can I still can't do a strict pull-up. Um, probably about a year ago was when I could do like one and a half strict pull-ups, and then I got pregnant, and then I didn't I wasn't trying to get them anymore. Um, so I've been trying to just add in a little bit of like banded pull-ups or negatives here and there, but gosh, it's so like doing that type of stuff is not it's just not fun, you know. Um, but I know I need to do it more, and I should do it more. I just think that I, of course, then I did some like kipping and butterfly just because it's fun stuff and I like to do it, so I'm going to do it. So right now my goals in the gym are mainly um, to get stronger and move faster um, and to work on my pull-up strength, um, basically just to like all around get stronger um, while also conditioning a lot. And I feel like in the winter time, it's a lot easier to not do as much as the like conditioning type stuff. Um, so I'm trying to add in workouts here and there, like one or two workouts a day on top of our regular strength at the gym and our regular, like whatever the program to work out is. Um, just because that I, I like doing all that, but I feel like I can get more out of it if I, you know, add some other stuff in there. Yeah, I'd like to get myself to the point where I can do all RX movements for the most part. You know, at least like one rep um, and then just build from there. Right now, I still have to do um, incline handstand push-ups. I can't do strict pull-ups. Uh, and then like, of course, like the big stuff, like ring stuff, I can't do anything on the rings. Um, I can't do a muscle up, like anything like that. And I wanna be able to get to myself to the point where I'm strong enough and I have good form and good technique um, to be able to do all those things. And I know it's gonna take time, but that's just the goal for now. I, I remind myself often that I, I have had three children in the last four years. And I feel like, if I'm honest, sometimes I'm hard on myself um, because I feel like I should be somewhere else. But if I'm honest, I, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Like I'm totally, I feel like I'm moving, you know, pretty well and I feel like I'm decently strong. So I'm not mad about it, but sometimes I do like find myself getting frustrated a little bit. I am on the way home. So uh, I'm gonna mix up my post-workout drink when I get home and I'll show you what that is. And then that'll be it for today. So we'll see you when I get there. Okay, so I'm just making my Post workout. Dropping everything. So I'm gonna use ignition and Formula One. Um, this is the protein. This is like to restore your uh, glycogen. So I'm gonna do one scoop of this um, Formula One, and this is the loop loop de fruit. It tastes like Fruit Loops, sort of. Um, it's not my favorite one, but I like it. And then I'll do half a scoop of the ignition. So I usually try to do this like pretty soon after I get home. Sometimes I'll take it with me and I'll have it when I'm still at the gym or on my way home. Whoopsie. For some reason this is like, this ignition is pumped up a little bit. Like it's got some moisture in there but whatever. I just mix it with water and I actually put a little bit of ice in there because I like it to be super cold. Um, but I'll just shake this up and drink it and that's really it. I don't always take this, but I've noticed that whenever I do um, my recovery and like my muscle soreness is a lot less. So anyway, I'm gonna drink this and then we'll have dinner. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.